Welcome back, football fans. Today we're diving into an in-depth analysis of Chelsea's first few preseason games under new manager Enzo Maresca. While it's early days and just a friendly match, this game offered us a fascinating glimpse into the tactical directions Maresca is steering Chelsea towards. From build-up play and defensive formations to attacking strategies and standout performances, we've got it all covered. We'll also examine how Chelsea can improve based on Celtic's adaptation to this formation. So sit back, relax, and let's jump right in. First up, let's examine Chelsea's build-up play. Under Maresca, Chelsea's build-up is in a 3-2 shape, a departure from their previous formations. This strategic change is aimed at enhancing ball control and distribution from the back. Rhys James played a crucial role here, moving into midfield during build-up and attacking phases. This tactical adjustment allowed Chelsea to create a box midfield, with Nkunku and Carney operating as double eights. By positioning themselves closer to the wingers, they provided width and fluidity in attack, making it difficult for Wrexham to contain them. Rhys James is still finding his feet in his new role, but Wrexham struggled the most. The box midfield was evident, with Carney showing improvement in his performance. The winger stayed high and wide, and Noni had most of the chances. Nkunku's role was particularly interesting. He often took on the most advanced runs within the box midfield, and at times he even formed a front two with the striker. This versatility in his positioning created multiple attacking options for Chelsea, effectively stretching Wrexham's defense and opening up space for others to exploit. Nkunku's ability to read the game and position himself in dangerous areas will be a critical asset for Chelsea as they look to improve their attacking prowess this season. He had a good game against Celtic, scoring a late consolation goal from a penalty. Another standout player was Mark Guyu. His performance was a testament to his ability to adapt quickly to Maresca's system. Gu made well-timed runs that consistently put pressure on Wrexham's defense. His physical presence added a new dimension to Chelsea's front line, and his link-up play was commendable. Set pieces have always been a critical aspect of the game, and Chelsea seems to be focusing heavily on them. Last season, Chelsea hired a set-piece coach, and the benefits of that decision were evident in this match. Chelsea was a constant threat on set pieces, consistently finding the first man but struggling to convert these opportunities into goals. The potential is there, and with some fine-tuning, set pieces could become a significant weapon for Chelsea. Defensively, Chelsea adopted a 4-1-4-1 shape. While the team's pressing isn't fully developed yet, the structure provided a solid foundation. The 4-1-4-1 formation aims to create a compact midfield and provide a solid defensive base, while maintaining flexibility to transition quickly into attack. In the Celtic game, it was clear the Blues are working on their press. They moved in a 2-1 formation, with one of the double eights stepping onto the Celtic defensive midfielder. However, there are still areas that need improvement. One of the main issues was the wide center backs getting dragged out of position too easily, allowing Wrexham to exploit spaces in behind. This problem became more apparent as the game progressed, highlighting a potential vulnerability in Chelsea's defensive setup. Sloppy passing was another issue that Chelsea faced. However, it's important to remember that this was the first game of preseason, and player sharpness isn't at its peak yet. These mistakes, while costly, are part of the learning process and can be rectified as players get more game time and adapt to Maresca's system. Blues were undone by the spaces they leave in behind. In detail, when they had possession, they shifted to compress the pitch by forming clusters on one side. This allowed the opposing winger to have huge space to operate, and that's how they hurt Chelsea. They exploited the switch and Chelsea's high line. They had less rigid player positions. With the exception of the spine and the defense, the players interchanged positions more often. Despite these challenges, there were many positives to take from the game. Maresca's tactical adjustments showed promise, and with time, these new strategies could become second nature to the players. The new attacking and defensive formations offer a fresh approach that, once perfected, could make Chelsea a formidable team this season. The glimpses of creativity and fluidity in attack are encouraging, 
and as the players continue to adapt, we can expect more cohesive performances. In conclusion, Chelsea's preseason games under Enzo Maresca have been a mix of promising signs and areas needing improvement. The tactical setup was intriguing, and several players, especially Mark Guyu, showed they could play crucial roles this season. As preseason progresses, we can expect the team to refine these strategies and become more cohesive. It's an exciting time for Chelsea fans, and there's plenty to look forward to as Maresca continues to mold this team. That's it for our analysis of Chelsea's preseason game so far. Let us know in the comments what you thought of the match and which players impressed you the most. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell to stay updated with all our latest content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.